All right, let's dive into something pretty intense today. Yeah, definitely intense, but important. Absolutely. We're talking about tracheostomies. Right, those breathing tubes that can be, well... Lifesavers, really. Exactly, but the <laughs> procedure itself can be, you know... A little tricky. Yeah, tricky is one word for it. Especially in critical care situations where every second counts. And that's where our deep dive for today comes in, right? Exactly. We're looking at a 2024 study from the Ultrasound Journal. Which highlights a game changer in the field. Ultrasound guidance. Okay, so paint the picture for us. Mm. Why is this such a big deal? Imagine needing a breathing tube while you're already seriously ill. Mm, okay, not hard to imagine, unfortunately. You want that procedure to be as safe and efficient as possible, right? Absolutely. Now, historically, tracheostomies were done with an open procedure. More invasive, longer recovery. Exactly. But thankfully, things have evolved. Enter the percutaneous method. Basically, keyhole surgery for your windpipe. Less invasive, but I imagine it requires incredible precision. Precisely. And that's where things used to get tricky. Because Surgeons relied on feeling for anatomical landmarks to guide the tube. Relying on touch alone sounds risky. It was. Everyone's anatomy is different, you see. Right. What works for one person might not be the same for another. And a slight variation could mean the difference between a successful procedure and a complication. Okay, so that's where ultrasound comes in to provide a clear picture. Exactly. Think of it like this. Instead of relying on a blurry roadmap, we're getting real-time GPS navigation. Precisely. We can see the trachea, blood vessels, everything in real time. Wow, so we're talking about a whole new level of accuracy here. Exactly. And that's what this 12-step protocol is all about. Which minimizes the risks before, during, and after the procedure. Exactly. We're not just talking about a cool new gadget. This is potentially a life-saving shift in how it's done. Exactly. All right, so walk us through. What's step one in this ultrasound-guided approach? Well, the first thing this protocol emphasizes is meticulous planning. Makes sense. You wouldn't jump into any surgery without a plan. Right. And with ultrasound, that plan is incredibly detailed. So step one, no scalpels, just sound waves and a whole lot of planning. You got it. Okay, I'm ready for step two. Yeah. What's next on this high-tech roadmap? Okay, so we've got our ultrasound, we're doing our planning, what's next? So now we really start to appreciate the power of ultrasound. In what way? We can visualize the trachea, obviously. Right, that's the whole point. But we can also see all the surrounding structures, like blood vessels. Okay, so we're not just looking at the trachea in isolation. Exactly. It's about understanding the whole landscape. To avoid any surprises, I imagine. Exactly. Remember that potentially dangerous, innominent artery we talked about? Oh, right. The one that could be higher or lower than usual. We can see its exact location with ultrasound. And that's crucial information before we even think about inserting the tube. Absolutely. It's all about minimizing risk at every step. Speaking of minimizing risk, what about the actual insertion point? Great question. There's another crucial landmark we use. Let me guess. It's got a complex anatomical name. The cricoid cartilage. Cricoid cartilage. Right, of course. I knew that. <laughs> it's a ring of cartilage that sits just below the Adam's apple. Okay, so it's like a reference point for the procedure. Exactly. And ultrasound lets us pinpoint its exact location. So we're not just estimating, we're getting precise coordinates. Exactly. This helps to guide the entire insertion process. Making sure the tube goes in the right place every time. Exactly. And it also helps to establish an emergency airway if needed. Okay, so another layer of safety built into the protocol. Precisely. And we're still just scratching the surface of what ultrasound can do. Seriously. There's even more to this planning stage. Oh, absolutely. We're talking about a whole new level of precision. All right. I am not even going to try and guess what else ultrasound can do. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more on this amazing protocol right after this. All right. So we've meticulously planned this whole procedure with ultrasound. We've got our roadmap. We know exactly where to go. But then what? Well, we've talked about how this protocol minimizes risk at every stage, right? Right, like a safety triple check. Exactly. So we're not just going to assume everything went perfectly. Of course not. So what happens after the insertion? We use ultrasound again. Oh, so it's not just a planning tool. Definitely not. This is where phase three screening comes in. Okay, so tell me more about this screening phase. It's all about confirming that everything went according to plan. Like a post-op checkup but with sound waves. Exactly. We're checking the tube's position, making sure there are no complications. What kind of complications are we talking about? Well, one is called a pneumothorax, which is basically a collapsed lung. Collapsed lung. That sounds serious. It can be, but it's rare with this procedure, especially with ultrasound guidance. 
So how does ultrasound help with something like that? It can detect even tiny amounts of air in the wrong places. So it's like having x-ray vision, but with sound instead of radiation. Exactly. Ultrasound gives us that extra level of certainty. That's incredible. So we're not just guiding the procedure. We're also double checking our work with incredible precision. Exactly. It's about giving patients the best possible chance of a safe and successful outcome. And that's what this whole protocol boils down to, isn't it? It's about using technology to improve patient care in a really tangible way. Absolutely. It's a great example of how cutting edge tech can revolutionize medicine. And it makes you wonder what other advancements are on the horizon. What other procedures could benefit from this level of precision? Oh, I'm sure we're just scratching the surface. It's an exciting time to be in medicine, that's for sure. Well, on that note, we've covered a lot of ground today from the intricacies of the trachea to the incredible power of ultrasound guidance. For our listeners, remember that innovation never sleeps, especially when it comes to something as important as healthcare. So until next time, keep asking those questions, keep seeking out those deep dives, because you never know what amazing discoveries are just around the corner.